Let's look at the IntelliJ IDEA shortcuts for performing text editing. So a lot of times we use JSON as our outputs for the HTTP calls. When we have these JSON outputs, we can format them right here within IntelliJ IDEA. So I have this sample JSON. So I can copy this JSON. I'll do Control Shift A and type in new scratch buffer. There is no shortcut for it yet, but you can set it using the key map. When you press enter, it opens a new file and it pastes your content of the JSON within that buffer file. This buffer is nothing but a temporary file created by IntelliJ. Now you see that the text here, let me increase the font size so that it's easier for you to see. Uh, one more time, one more time. So that's it. So the, if you see the content here is all in white, that means that IntelliJ IDEA has not yet understood the type of the content. And you can change that using again Control Shift A and change file language. When you press enter, it will give you a list of options to choose from. So you can say my content type is JSON or any of these other types. As soon as you press enter, you'll see that it correctly formats and colors the text within the JSON. And you can format this now using Control Alt L. Now all your text is properly formatted based on the JSON type. You can do this whole process for the XMLs also. While we are here, let's do some basic text editing. Now the shortcuts that you'll see, you can of course also apply to Java files or any other files, but uh, we'll try that here only with JSON. Uh, one mistake that I see people making is they do not move their cursors one word at a time. They always move their cursor like this, which is one alphabet at a time. To move one word at a time, you do control and left arrow or right arrow. That way you'll be able to move a little bit faster. You can also, of course, do Control shift left or Control shift right and keep adding a word to your selection. And similarly, you can also use Control backspace to delete a particular word. Say I'll do Control backspace. So within a single uh, shortcut key, I was able to delete the entire word and not do backspace, backspace, backspace for the entire word. Moving of these lines, which will see right now applies the same way what we saw in the earlier videos so you can use alt shift up arrow to move the line up alt shift down arrow to move the line down you can delete this line using control y control y that'll delete each line at a time and you can also do control d which will duplicate the lines the context based selection that we saw in the earlier videos for Java will also work for any of the other files which IntelliJ IDEA understands. So you can say Control W that will select single contextual snippet. If you press Control W again, it selected the line. Control W it matched the closing bracket and it selected everything within it. And if you keep doing this Control W, it will expand the selection contextually. Right? And if you do Control Shift W, it will reduce or shrink the selection one contextual snippet at a time. Now let's look at how to do multi selection in a text. So I have this word chocolate here, and I have the word chocolate multiple times in this JSON. So you see a word chocolate here and a couple of times at the bottom. So I want to change the word chocolate for the first two times. And the way to do that is Alt J. If I press Alt J, it will select the next occurrence of that particular word. And once these two things are selected, I can make any changes to this. So instead of chocolate, I can type in candy. And you'll ob observe that the candy changed both at the top as well as at the bottom. You can repeat the same thing multiple times. So let's try to do this. Let's select this and make it three or four times so that it's easier for us to understand what's going on so when i press alt j it selected the next word alt j selected the next word alt j selected the next word now you can move around your cursor on the left or on the right and you can keep typing so chocolate and candy or you can select this or you can even do the expansion which is doing control a so this is called the multi cursor in intellij idea so we selected each word using alt j right which selected the next next but what if your file has a lot of occurrences of the same word 
To select all the occurrences, the shortcut is Control Alt Shift J, and that will select all the occurrences of that particular word within the whole document. And then again, similarly, you can keep making changes. So let's say you have lines which are not exactly the same and you want to edit all four lines. You can do this using cloning the caret. So currently my cursor is right here. I can clone it using Control Shift X and it will clone the caret and then I can move around within it. Now observe that this particular shortcut is not available by default. So you can set it using Control Shift A, typing in key map, open the key map preferences. Here, type in clone caret. And once you find the clone caret, you right click it, say add keyboard shortcut. And for me, I've used Control Shift X. So I use the shortcut a lot and that's why I found it useful to set the shortcut for it. Once you do that, let's do that again. Control Shift X, it will clone the caret and then you can move around, select, delete, or add new types. Right, and this is very helpful during text editing. Couple of other small minor things. Uh, you, in an IntelliJ idea, you can also change the word from an uppercase to a lowercase. So you can do that using Control Shift U, which will toggle the case for you. So it converted all of them to the uppercase. You can again press Control Shift U and will toggle it to the lowercase. You can also join lines. So similar to what we saw in Java, you can say Control Shift J. It will add the below line to this particular line. And if you want to reformat it, Control Alt L, it will reformat the whole thing. Now let's go to how to find a particular word. It is very easy to find a word. So let's say I do Control F, which will open this small widget at the top, and you can say I want to find for candy. It will highlight all the words of type candy, and once you do down arrow or an up arrow, you can go through each of these instances of the selections. You can also replace all these words using Control R instead of Control F, and say instead of candy, I want to replace with chocolate. If you press Alt, you'll see there's an underline below each button for replace, replace all and exclude. So if you press Alt P, it will, it will replace the candy with chocolate once. So it did that here. If you say Alt A, it will replace all the candies with chocolates, right? And since now there is no more occurrences of candy, it is showing that in red. If you want to find a particular word in your whole of the project, you can say Control Shift F instead of just Control F. And here it will immediately show all the searches for that particular term. And here, if I want to open the file, you can toggle through all these files where you, it has found that particular term. And you can press Tab and press Enter to open that particular file. So let's do that again. Control Shift F. So what we are looking for is chocolate. Uh, I want to open this second file which is chocolate distribution. So I'll press tab, press enter, it will open it for me. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll look at how to use IntelliJ IDEA shortcuts for run and debug. Thanks for watching.